What's up, Sushi Squad? We back in with more Trove, and today we finally cracked the code. We finally did it, gamers. Um, as of right now that I'm recording this first clip, uh, I don't have the rest of the footage for all these other hubs. Uh, so we'll kind of have to go through as we go along with this video. It's going to be a weirder project for me because I'm going to have to not only remember to log in every day to Trove, but more particularly logging into the test server. Uh, what's going on right now is we have a new hub that is available in the test server. Uh, and as of right now, it has swapped over to the winter hub because the whole thing that's going on right now is that we actually are having the hub in a faster rotation on the test server so it's going to be rolling through all of the different seasonal changes so that they can end up collecting feedback which means that i'm going to have to record this one video over the course of multiple days if not weeks depending on the uh total rotation i kind of ended up messing up that's why this video is a little bit later uh because i completely forgot that they had the faster rotation so i'm pretty sure i missed a season or two uh but this is going to end up being the winter hub and we'll just kind of go through it really quick uh i like the fact that we've got the snow everywhere and i like more so the fact that the snow is covering everything like they actually oh they actually bothered putting icicles on stuff uh the snow up top on everything like it's very very thematic so i think that's really really cool that they ended up doing this dude not to mention you know all these things very very cool stuff uh anything change on the inside of these buildings nah, i didn't think it would it's just going to end up being on the outside i love the ice everywhere though like really really awesome that they ended up actually going the extra mile and, and not only that but some blocks seem to actually be replaced by uh the snow and ice i could be wrong about that but just for the sake of fitting it in it seems like they just kind of squished it in there which is really neat somebody also mentioned that there was yes that there was penguins around oh okay that's cool i want to see more of these little guys though dude because remember what i was talking about uh, in my last video, you know, highlighting the hub where I was mentioning uh, how the hub area didn't really feel alive. And that's that's still kind of is apparent here. You can see that there's not that many players here and it just looks dead. Uh, I'd love to see more of these penguins. Obviously, they're going to end up draining frames the more that they have of them, but still whatever. So I like that they have the water here. I like that they changed the entire like hub thing right here to end up fitting in the theme and it kind of looks like a giant snowflake maybe that's just me uh another thing to note as well as the devs did end up listening to maybe not my feedback specifically but remember this rune uh crafter right away we noticed that this carpet was too close to it so the devs ended up moving it one block away so that we can end up interacting with the rune crafting bench which is awesome because otherwise um this was basically blocking us from activating the crafting table oh there's another penguin there oh it's so cute i like a mood what about oh look at this we actually got kind of proper generation we can kind of squeeze through here i like that they actually bothered to put the snow on this side as well that's that's really cool because you know the fact that they actually bothered to do the extra detail and they put the snow everywhere dude it really looks like the hub has been through a blizzard not to mention obviously the snow vfx and everything i love it dude it's awesome the, uh, the water around is obviously because you got to be able to fish, right? And then uh, they mentioned this as well, that this is going to end up being an area that will slowly be replaced so long as there is an event going on. Uh, but as of right now, there is no event technically on the test server. So uh, we're just literally seeing the theme of this events corner uh, be replaced by other things. And I, I like the fact that we actually see some snowmen all built up and stuff. It's really cool. This is nice too. I like that they actually used some 3D in the environment and made the snow like come up out of the ground and make it like really, really snow covered. I mean, it does kind of end up hiding this area a little bit. So that's, I don't know, but I, I, I just like that because otherwise it could just be all flat, you know? Like it seems like they're really taking advantage uh, of the fact that they're making it all like look cool and be different and what have you. So anyways, let's move on to the next seasons.
Now I'm actually recording this post commentary after because I didn't really have time or everything set up uh, when I ended up finally catching the summer themed hub. Uh, honestly speaking, the first time that we went onto the test server, it just so happened to be the summer themed hub. So it's not like we need to spend that much time here today. Uh, the only thing that really ended up changing obviously is going to be the outside biome generation and then the trees and the grass and everything just looks generally more vibrant. Uh, and we've got the giant cart over by the events area. One thing that was a bit surprising to me, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I was surprised to find out that this was in fact the spring theme. I know that everything's all alive in the spring, but there's just something about it where it just felt like this was more an established summer to me. It's a new day. It's a new day. We've got the tropical... Uh... I guess this would be, is this summer or spring? I'm not exactly sure. I would assume that this is spring, right? Because there's the palm trees and stuff, and we already kind of saw the summer one. Uh, the only one that I think I'm missing as far as footage is concerned is the fall. Uh, <laughs> so the seasons are going to be a little bit out of order. I, I basically, like for this clip, I basically just woke up and was like, hey, let's go check it out. So, yeah, we got the beaches going on, which is cool. And the buildings themselves don't seem to be any different. It's just kind of the same old, same old stuff. What is with that roof right there? I mean, I guess it's kind of cool, but the... Uh, I see S. Uh, they're celebrating me. Sushi man. Ooh. Were these vines always draping over the edge? Because if they were... I don't know why I never noticed because I actually really like that a lot. That kind of gives a nice vibe to it. Did this finally generate properly? A plonk right into the water. No, it didn't. <laughs> it always generates so bad. Oh, and then there's like palm trees, I guess, and the, you know, the grass and stuff. I think it would have been cooler uh, if they had like, instead of all this grass, I think if all of it was sand. Oh, I see. So they have sand on the outside, at least. That voice break, though. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then there's all of these boxes and stuff for some weird reason um, over on the event area. All the buildings, yeah, they, they just seem to be all the same. The water doesn't have anything fancy going on for it. But let's take a quick peek at this, because I guess the whole point is, do you have enough jump to get up here? I do. And for some reason, the these are merchants that are... Uh, just trying to sell watermelons. I guess that's pretty surprising because the watermelons are as big as the night. Like, look at this. That's ridiculously huge. <laughs> All right, next season. And finally, last but not least, fall. Which doesn't really look... I mean, it's got the mushrooms, which is cool, and I guess the trees change... I'm honestly surprised. I don't know why I didn't put together that the beach was the summer theme because honestly speaking, I felt like the spring was the summer theme. It just kind of looked like that to me. But I mean, it's kind of nice that they ended up changing some things. Like obviously, you know, we got the mushrooms and uh, the dying grass and the trees have kind of changed color as well. I don't think that the ground itself, like that grass, I, I don't think that it changed any color. I would like to see them maybe change it to be a little bit more dead. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm reading too deep into it here, but I just, I don't know. I guess the point is I'm taking it for granted because we get to see these season after season that I'm starting to be like, oh, well, I would change this and I would change that. But I mean, honestly speaking, the fact that we're getting each of these in theme and the fact that on top of that, we are also having the world generation reflect it appropriately. Like, I'm very, very happy with what they have done with this hub. Okay, I think we can all agree that this is awesome when it ends up finally coming out to us. It is going to be beautiful. But I still, I still have my one criticism with the game that there is not enough lively action going on. You know, everything is basically static. And if you're standing alone in the hub, there's not really any movement. I mean, there's some video effects here and there, but I would love to see more animated creatures uh, like we surprisingly saw with the winter theme because the winter theme obviously had the little penguins wandering around and we haven't seen that with any of the other areas uh, or any of the other seasons, I should say. I like that we got the Thanksgiving table. 
That's a nice, a nice little appreciated touch. Um, it would be kind of cool if the buildings changed a bit as well. Obviously, the most impacted one, uh, the most impacted season is going to end up being winter. And, and I'm again, I'm not trying to be overly critical here. I just think like, I don't know. I just kind of wish that it changed up a little bit more than just, oh, the trees and there's a couple different props. Also, it seems that these vines were always draping down. So that's my bad on that one, gamers um let's see anything else going on here i mean we got all these things which are neato like i'd like to see maybe bees wandering around or something you know that would be kind of cool it oddly enough gives me vibes of banjo kazooie doesn't it i don't know but anyways i was saving the best for last this is going to be the most important of all obviously is the events area now keeping in mind that while we've seen all the different seasonal sections for the events area uh when there is an event going on apparently this is going to be replaced with whatever the corresponding event is so that means that more than likely if this update ends up hitting before october we'll end up seeing this hub but these mushrooms will be replaced with a giant pumpkin head uh, i wonder whether or not they've changed the event houses at all i think that would be really really neat to see if they do they don't have to because the event houses are kind of i don't know they're iconic at this point but i think that it would be a nice appreciated detail to have them just i don't know just updated in general i guess what am i saying uh but let's take a peek because i noticed that we can actually get on these with jump pads so this is i guess a squash or a giant my uh giant pumpkin or something i do like that they got all the glowing blocks everywhere and the fact that we can get up all of this stuff with two jump not to mention jumping on mushrooms just kind of makes sense doesn't it i saw somebody was up here so it kind of make like i kind of figured that we'd be bouncing on it i almost wish that it didn't use the jump pads though and uh was instead like just a bouncy block or something like you think about like slime blocks in minecraft like it would make a lot more sense if the blocks look the same as the mushroom but i guess it still gets the point across and that's just trove for you right i just think that the jump pads are pretty uggles at this point like they're kind of just very weird and mechanical aren't they but anyways that's all of the seasonal hub changes so thank you guys so much for watching uh obviously this video took me a while to do because i kept on forgetting to log in during certain days but hey we got to see it all right <laughs> Thanks for watching though gamers really appreciate it smash like sub for more buy the merch you want to support the channel and have yourself a fantastic day we don't know when this update is going live uh we more so don't know if it's coming out on pc and consoles at the same time more than likely it'll come out on pc first but generally speaking uh the biggest change for everybody is going to end up being the visuals of the hub and on top of that is just going to end up being the new quest line which we didn't get to experience all of it but maybe we could end up revisiting it when it's actually fully functional on the live server i don't know it doesn't really matter that much anyways i don't want to stay epic everybody